Well, this has been an exciting week for sure. Um, there's been many things that I've learned here. It's my first time at TeamPAC, so I learned some different things. Um, Phil analyzing, um, lobbyists, and how they work. Um, I love hearing all our speakers. They have so many interesting things to say and years of wisdom that they can sell to us the next generation. Um, the kindness of the staff and um, Mr. Crum, Mrs. Montgomery, I had expectations pretty high, and I have to say they did exceed all of those expectations. So that was one of the things that I was not expecting um, this week. You guys did an awesome job. I want to read the Second Chronicles 34, verses 1 through 5. <coughs> Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 31 years in Jerusalem. And he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, and walked in the ways of David his father. He did not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. For in the eighth year of his reign, while he was yet a boy, he began to seek the God of David his father, and in the twelfth year of his reign, he began to purge Judah and Jerusalem of the high places. We see here by the death of his father, Josiah was put into the leadership role of the king at a very early age of eight years old. I don't think you guys can even imagine being the leader of your whole nation, now much less eight years old. Pretty crazy. At age 16, he began to seek out God. He didn't let the state of his um, country dictate his ability to seek out God for himself. At age 20, he began purging his homeland of the idolatry and the wickedness that had continued its downward spiral for generations. When the Book of the Covenant was found, that's another subject, they didn't even know the law. He didn't even know the covenant or the law of God. So when it was found, he he rent his clothes because he realized how far away the nation was from where it should have been and where it used to be. So he began to have the Book of the Covenant read to multitudes of people in Judah and Jerusalem, trying to reform the family back to the laws of God. Josiah is a profound example of what a young person with unparalleled courage and willingness to stand up for what is right, no matter what is going around him, around him and his nation. He showed true culture engagement. We should all look to call this example. He was what I like to call a true culture warrior. To be a true culture warrior like Josiah, there are two things that I would like to encourage you with as you enter the final stages of our week to impact. Number one is personal application at home. Let your foundational knowledge gained here propel your continued studies of government and how that relates to us as Christians as you go home. Study the Bible and find out how God instituted it into our society and how we should approach that as conservatives, homeschoolers, and Christians. And my second thing is, be a culture warrior. Just like Josiah, we need to take back our culture for God. Our country was founded on basic biblical principles and morals, and we have dwindled very far away from that. I think that we can all influence others to not only be like-minded as far as conservative and Christian values, but give your friends and family the knowledge you learned here about government Influence them to get involved, not just on the state level like this, but even on the local level. Go to city council meetings. It's not that hard to come in contact with your mayor or the leadership of your town or city. Get in contact with them. Tell them what you believe. Influence your friends and family to get involved also. Let's increase the number of team tax students for next year. Let's not only have this side over here be what we occupy all week. Let's this whole room be full of students. I think we could all have a huge part in making this greater for next year. I want to conclude by stating this good, good quote by a great man. Ronald Reagan said, All great change in America starts at the dinner table. It doesn't start in government. It starts in the family and with the individual. It only then transfers to the government. So I think we all have a great responsibility this upcoming year to take part in our families and then in our local communities to affect our state, then our nation, and the rest of our world. I want to leave you one last, one last thing. Be a culture warrior for Christ. Like I said before, we have a great responsibility, and I think we can all not be lazy, and don't just take this knowledge here and say, oh yeah, that was a great week of team pack. Take it home. This is foundational knowledge. Build on that. And that's what I want to leave you with.
I speak from my and myself, and I say it has been truly an honor to serve you in this way in a 